are doing guys and welcome back to the channel you probably noticed that there's fertilizer in here already um yes i've been and sprayed some fertilizer some nitrogen on the all seed rate first time we use this so i thought right rob you need to concentrate um i'll tell you in a minute how i set it all up it was quite you know i wouldn't say easy but it was all right to do from me solely using that sulky all the time to now switch into a different mate uh, yeah but we're putting some on it's dry hopefully it's gonna rain tonight that will let it wash in we're putting on 125 kilograms a hectare uh, i'm going over it twice because the reason why i put 125 kilograms in to start with well, 125 kilograms a hectare in to start with and then I went on an 11 acre field and I used up nearly a bag. That was just to get my own, myself calibrations right and to sort of trust the spreader. Um, so I'm going over it twice and putting on, what's that, 200, 250 kilograms a hectare now of nitrogen on the all-seed rate. So, you know, it's working well, but I'll show you a bit more about it when we get in the field and how I calibrate it once I get back to the yard. Now then, like I said, I'm putting 125 kilograms a hectare on, going 10 mile an hour, so a nice fast paced job, but I don't think when I started, when I started off in this field which I'm going to now, I don't think I've ever been so nervous spreading fertiliser, uh, it's worth so much. I wanted to get it on right. I wanted to get it on as accurately as I can. It's a new spreader. Um, yeah, I've, uh, to say the least, I was absolutely in it. But nevertheless, we're here. We didn't put too little on. We didn't put too much on. We put just right. So we're just going to go and spread this last bag, empty the fertilizer spreader out on this field as well. Wouldn't do it no harm. And things crossed, it rains. It don't look very good. The sky does not look very good. Anyway, we're in the 60-30. Got the GPS on, not, gonna, not using it. Um, just for the fact that sometimes I can't see my tram line, so um, that's handy. What a view! say I do like this headland limiter just hold the brown spool and once I've gone round the headland the limiter will lift up and then I can start going up and down the tram lines at 18 metres with this spreader as well if we get a bigger sprayer or anything like that we don't need to alter the veins of the spreader you alter the back um, back lever which will show you when I get out we'll have to do a little walk, walk around and uh, you don't need to alter and just farm a tram line you don't need to alter the veins you just alter this slider 
which is handy. Well, I just thought I'd uh, come and empty the fertilizer spreader out on this field that looks a bit poorer and uh, couldn't have been better timing really. You see that? She's just started spitting about. So, um, yeah, got to get back to the yard, give this a quick swill off, and um, got to put the drill on because neighbour who's going to do some spring drilling for, so he's got some beans on the way tomorrow. And he wants me there the day they turn up so we can put them in the ground. So uh, I'll rejoin with you back at the yard. So I'm back at the yard now, uh, just giving it a bit of a wash down. But I thought I'd just give you a little walk around it. Um, so you've got two veins either side, that's for your calibration, your adjustment to how wide the three holes at the bottom open. We'll just have a look in the top. So there's three holes there, and that slider just determines whether or how far they open up. So simple as that. Then you have, come down here, literally the whole alphabet there. That determines what width you spread out and where the fertilizer comes out on the veins and then you've got this slider here that determines whether all three holes are open for like fertilizer or anything else and then you can slide it back to here so you can only open one hole for slug pellets or in our case <coughs> excuse me buckwheat as well so we're going to put buckwheat on with this instead of drilling it uh excuse me if i sound a bit ropey uh yeah not feeling too great just a cold i think so, fingers crossed, we feel better for the next video. I ain't got a lot of battery left, but um, here's the headland limiter as well. So that's hydraulically up and down. And I've got a little light just there, whether it tells me it's up or down or not. Now then, what I was gonna say is how I got the rate and the right levers to push on the back. Um, and where to put the slider and stuff like that. Obviously, it tells you in the manual, but it doesn't tell you, like, if I want to put 125 kilograms a hectare on. No, there's not a decent chart. So, what I did was download the Converland app. So, this where you select your machine. Uh, if it loads. Let's start that again, a good start. Let's delete some. So we go on. There we go. So I'm working 18 meters. I want 125 kilograms a hectare. And I want to go 10 mile an hour, so 16 kilometers an hour. Basic application. Yep. Then we go on prills, because that's what the sort of granules are. Then I had to weigh um, one litre. So I weighed one litre, is 0.95. You can have your distribution if you've got your trays and your percentages, but I just click next. Then it gave me what veins I've got. So on this particular spreader, the veins are, the biggest veins, 285, then 235, and then 185, and that's millimetres. So I click down on that one, then it comes up with MP and K, or nitrogen, and tells me I need the DOS in, which is that there, on 36, and it where to put my border plate on setting five so it even tells you where to put your border plate so it's pretty good 
you punch in what you want and more or less to minus five percent or plus one percent it um it works it out for you so that's something we didn't have with the soul key we had to all do it manually on on the charts with this it sort of helps you work it out uh, i'll probably know other manufacturers like amazon what we got quoted for have got their own app as well so but first time using it seemed all right put the right rate on yeah let me know what you think thanks for watching this short little video next video put the drill on and go drilling that's the plan um hope you're all well and thank you very much for watching thank you very much for subscribing and we'll see you again for the next one see you later Ta.